Well, tonight a young person in Baltimore City is in danger of losing his life. He nearly drowned at a public pool in Hamden. He is in critical condition. And homicide units have a hand now in that investigation. WMER 2 News' Jack Watson with the full report on the story tonight. This is something that could have been totally avoidable. The pool at Roosevelt Park is closed on weekdays until June 15th. But on Wednesday, a young person ended up in the hospital after nearly drowning in this pool. Police say a group got in, one went under, and did not come up. Neighbors here in Hamden did not go on camera, but told me pool break-ins are a long-standing issue here. They tell me this fence is too low. It's a sad case of deja vu from July of last year. At the exact same pool, a 15-year-old went to the hospital after he nearly drowned after hours. Parents then just as incensed by it. What difficulty would a parent have in getting a phone call that your child has just drowned in a pool? Hours later, Baltimore City leaders took to Druid Hill Park, about five minutes away on the opposite side of 83, to remind the community about pool safety. There's a reason that this pool is secure. That's the reason that it's locked. For when pools do open, Executive Director Reginald Moore with Rec and Parks says they've hired 90 more lifeguards as of late. But again, this pool was not open. There was no lifeguard to bring this near-drowning victim back to the surface. The mayor says it's not practical to patrol every pool around the clock. He placed the onus on people staying away from the pool unsupervised. We need the community. We need people to make sure that their kids are doing what they're supposed to be doing and not risking their lives. Baltimore police are still looking into why the juveniles were at the pool and how they got in. The mayor says the fact the young person is in the hospital is why homicide investigators are involved. In Baltimore, Jack Watson, WMAR2 News.